Logie. So we are back, guys. Uh, yeah. Santi was just talking to us about some drama that he has been through. Oh, hey, right? Yes. So okay. you were hanging out with Nikita. I was hanging out with Nikita, like I was saying. What are fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Like I said. I second that. Like I said, <laughs> I notice how pre- people treat people that they don't know. You know what I mean? Nikita's high status. She has money. She has power. She has fame. Wealth, flashes, paparazzi. Paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> Uber black. Escalade, Uber movie, XL. Driver, <laughs> Lamborghini, Uber 20 XL. cars. Like, she's insane. Sh- shout out to Nikita. Valet type shit. Bossa Nova. She treated Kevin like royalty. Boa. She didn't know who he was. She, was she cool, paid right? for his food, drove him around, treated him like royalty. Yeah, didn't know who the fuck he was. Paid for Treated my food. Treated him like royalty. Invited me to shit. Royalty, bro. So, Dope. like, that just shows the kind of person you are. You know what I mean? When you're in a position of power, you can treat people like shit. Easily. Easily you can treat people like shit. Easy, it wouldn't yeah. be a problem. Treated him like royalty. So, I was like, okay, she's cool. We went to Miami. She said, yo, I'm at this club. Pop out. We're having fun. We're having drinks. Whatever. We went. It was the mists of COVID. I was young. I was dumb. I fucked up. I went to a club. Middle of Got caught up there. That same night, I didn't know I was caught up yet. Went to another club. I was already like a couple <laughs> drinks in. Went to another club. I was with Jaco, Jose. I was with my drink in my hand, yelling, last night in Miami, boys. <laughs> Somebody in the corner was recording us because they knew who we were. Posted it, like 400, 500,000 likes, talking about Damn. dad wiggies are in Miami. Enjoying the club like there's no COVID, which was true. We fucked up. We shouldn't have been in Miami. We were young. We we were barely touching a little bit of like like fame. A, f- a fame, not necessarily fame, but like a little bit of clout. So we were dumb. We went to Miami to go to the clubs. We fucked up. I learned from it. COVID is very fucking serious. If there's Rikes. like hella COVID going around, you should stay indoors. We fucked up. But yeah, I got hate for like two three days. COVID spreader. You don't give a fuck about anybody. Your shit. This and that. That shit got to me. I was like, bro, my shit's over. Like, I worked hard for nothing. Three days later, like, people didn't give a shit. They were on to the next person that fucked up. <laughs> like, in that case, it was Yeti. <laughs> in that case, it was Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> in that case, all the hate went to Yeti. And I was just kind of in the corner scooting over, making other fucking <laughs> videos. Yes. And people just forgot. Like, it was, like, cool. And, uh, I, again, like I said, I fucked up. I'm human. Yeti's yeah. human. I fucked up. Yeah, I shouldn't have been in the middle of a club during up. COVID. Yeah, R- obviously now there's a vaccine, shit like that. Back then there wasn't. I shouldn't have been in the club. Yeah, simple as that. Um, I fucked up. Yeah, I got hit for three days. It got to me, and I was like, I, I was low key crying. Like I was crying yeah. to Jose and Jake. I was like, bro, like I did all this shit. Like I'm over. Like nobody fucks with me no more. Like I, it, it scared me. It yeah. honestly did because I thought everything I did was for nothing. And uh, I mean, shit, they scared me straight. I was very COVID friendly after that. I, I was very careful. Got my vaccines, all that, and so, yeah. So as you guys like went out, I I mean grew in followers and like went up and everything that you guys do. Do you guys feel like the hate actually helped you a little bit? Oh. Like grow followers or bring in brand deals or any anything? Honestly, it helps with getting shit right, but getting like clout. Like hate clout, yeah, it's horrible, bro. It's not good. You just lose them after a while. Like they'll right. they'll keep up with you for like a week or two. It's like a joke to them, kind of thing. Yeah, and then you just lose them. They're not real supporters. So do you feel like they just follow and then they unfollow and that shit like died? So. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, bro, I had 158k on Instagram. Right. About to reach 160. Dropped, bro. I have 149. But it's just like all of those followers who were following me were all drama people who just uh, wanted to keep up with me. I lost like damn. 10. I lost like ten thousand followers because it was just like people who were just trying to keep up with the drama. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. insane. Yeah. Do you guys think like cancel culture is uh very toxic? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. People, I mean, it's entertainment, bro. We're entertainers. Yeah. So when there's like shit going on that's like drama, drama. People love drama. People are right there, like on the edge of their seats, just waiting for something. Oh, and they're ready to switch sides too. They're ready. Like, oh, quick. fast. To jump time. from one side quick to another. To but I mean. Other. Bro, it's entertainment. Like, there's different types of entertainment. And drama is one side where, like, I try not to touch. Like, I try to just be on the, like, fun, like, 
cool side funny, of shit. cool side of yeah. it. Like, and that's what we've tried to do. Yeah. But sometimes Sorry. drama just falls into Brody's lap over here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'd be chilling and shit. And next thing you know, like, that boom. was just like, boom. And I'm like, damn. And then I'm like, here? yo, Yeti, let me know how that shit over there feels. And I just scoot over a that's little bit. And yeah. Nah, yeah. I haven't been in drama in a while, though. Yeah, you've been chilling. Yeah. 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 Rose has been on the cool side of it. Yeah. I've been on good from, like, fucking consistent. Yeah. Yeah, bro. We just want to entertain people. We want to make sure people are laughing, like having a good exactly. time. Exactly. With YouTube, I feel like we do that a yeah, lot yeah. more. You don't want to be on bullshit. We just want to make sure everybody's like vibes, global. vibes, vote, whatever the fuck he <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Paparazzi violation. Vogue magazine, <laughs> Rolling Stone, Sweet Tea, Sweet Tea hey, hey, podcast. Nice. Yeah. Back. All that. Do you guys believe that? You know, everybody says like you shouldn't start a business with like your family or your friends. Ooh, you guys believe that in a sense this is literally a business that we like kind of all like we all, all have like our separate business yeah. but it's like a group thing yeah llc the only thing is a family business is difficult because money always comes between people 100%. like as much as you don't want to let it come between it always does it always does like some bullshit always happens people get greedy exactly. and it all depends on like how you communicate about like that money situation like that's how things are gonna go they're either gonna go bad or or fucking worse, you know? Yep. But I don't know about a family business. I'd rather just own my shit and not have to share it with anybody. Mm-hmm. I'd be very careful with family. Yeah. I'd be very careful with family. Friends, you could easily, like, not be friends with someone. But family, that's different because that's, nah. that's family. You yeah. guys going to go to those family parties or yeah, kids together? all that. Yeah. You're going to have relatives, all that. So I'd be very careful Crazy. with going into business with family. But friends, bro, not saying, like, I wouldn't be friends with them, but you can easily cut off a friend. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, easily. rather than a family member, you could never see another like, bro. I've cut off people from high school. Like, you could easily not be someone's friend. Yeah, but family is different, so I'd I'd be very careful with family. I haven't, I don't have any business with family right now, but I don't, I don't know how I wouldn't. The I live wouldn't. thing is that like we don't share the money, like yeah, the money that different. we make, it's all the all our money. So yeah. it's just like it's all up to us. It's your thing. own hustle. You yeah. can make yeah. your own money, and that's his money. As hard as he works, yeah. that's his money. As hard as I work, that's my money. That's his money. As hard as he works, that's his money. So it's separate, but we're still all friends. We still all like make content. Yeah, yeah. we still all have fun. So it's cool. I, I like this dynamic that we have. It's fun. It's like, bro, we're just boys. Yeah, and so it's y- chill as fuck. So you guys recently moved in together into a townhouse, <laughs> right? Shout out and to townhouse slatties. Speaking of business, did you guys all did you three move in together specifically as a business move, or rather, you know what? I'm comfortable with these guys. And I could actually live with them. It was comfortability, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Comfortability. Yeah. Friends. So do you feel like, uh, aside from the comfortability, like the business has went up for each of you guys as well? Because you guys live together? What? I, I feel like the content's funnier. I think, yeah. I think last time I was here, I had like 40K on YouTube. I'm about to hit 100. Jeez. Yeah. Soon. Crazy. On and the Kev's way. Kev's going That's crazy, sure too. Right Kev yeah. going oh, yeah. stu. Kevin's going wild. Crazy. I right. think when we came last time, Kevin had just started, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He didn't post a video. video. Yeah, he was about to post his video. You had not posted the first video. And that video is over 100,000 right now. Bro, to post your first video and have 100K. 1,000 views. Insane. That's crazy. Wait, so shout out, Kev. Shout out you guys for fucking watching us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's insane. So Shit. so for Kevin Yeto, do you guys think that like moving in with Santi, you know, kind of who's like already posting and shit, do you guys think that y- that helped you guys or? Oh, yeah, yeah, it helps. Definitely. Uh, yeah. The main reason why I moved out here was because I wanted to be around people who were doing what I do. And like yeah. Yeah. back home, I don't have nobody. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's just like who's motivating me to get the fuck up other than myself. Yeah. And sometimes I'm not going to lie. I don't I don't motivate myself like I need help from bro right here, or bro right here. And they don't even have to tell me shit. As long as I see that they're like, oh, damn, I'm uploading tomorrow. I'm like, damn, I want to upload. Damn, too. I need to upload. So, like, let me dog something, you know? Exactly, uploading bro. feels so good, bro. Bro, your friend no, should does. motivate you, bro. It yeah. does. Like, uploading even me, bro, amazing. even me, I get motivated by them. Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn, that video that Kevin just posted is funny as fuck. Yeah. Like, I need to post a funny ass video like that. Yeah. Nah, I think we all, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can speak for us. Like, sometimes we'd be like, damn, like, Santi, Kev, or Yeto posted a banger. Like, fuck yeah. Like, oh, you what? Get you on need it. to post one. Bro, you guys I was, motivate us. I was just telling Logan earlier. I was like, bro, I'm getting motivation from y'all. Or I think it was Daniel. Oh, yeah, I was watching yeah, y'all's was videos. Like, yeah. I watched like three of y'all's videos yes, in a row. Bro, and I was you like, you guys damn. have been dogging. Thank you. Appreciate and I'm it, like, I'm trying to get on that wave. Nah, yeah. You guys are filming hella, bro. Hella. Nah, that. 
that's good though that we all kind of have like a group where maybe we don't live with each other but we all kind of like motivate each yeah. other one way or another yeah and this never on some hating shit i'm like uh, damn no. they dogged let me dog real quick yeah oh, it's like yeah. a good like competitive yeah one. yeah, hell that's yeah. A, it's competitive but it's never like on some like hating shit. Like, you know yeah. what? Like, I'm always happy. happy. Yeah. yeah. Or like, that like, bit, yeah. let me get on that. Bro, I have no time to hate on anybody right now, bro. Exactly. I like, do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hating. Bro wants to hate on me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, especially my friends and like the people I surround myself with, you know? Nah, yeah, it's amazing. I think it's very important to surround yourself with people who Us. are grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially because like we all kind of came up from like nothing as far as like clout and stuff or yeah. like followers from yeah. the start yeah it's crazy when you really think about it yeah that Facts. is lit did, lit as fuck did living with them like put the pressure on you to start your own channel uh yeah or was this something yeah, you always wanted to do too that's something that i always wanted to do too because youtube like youtube is fun bro like literally yeah so fun i love doing youtube I remember last time you were here, you were talking about, like, you love, like, watching YouTube. Yeah. You love, like, doing oh, all yeah. this shit. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Bro, stay biting. Oh, Hell no. Nah. <laughs> bro, bro the got the hat. same what hat the as me, bro. I've been had this hat, though. Bro, you want some hating shit right now, bro? <laughs> yeah. I had this Hella hat hating, first. bro. I had this hat first. Nah, that's deeper than right yeah. there. Come on, you wearing me on your hat. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sir. This shit right. stand for dick. No, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dick head. Yeah, what were we saying? <laughs> hey, no, nah, but, but Kev, I remember, oh, bro, I remember uh, we had gone. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I think it was Danny and I, we had <laughs> went over to your house when you first started YouTube and you were like, you were so fucking excited to, oh, no, uh, you had posted I'll, like two videos and you were so I was so fiending pumped. to get that bitch. Yeah, yeah you were like, you're like, I can't wait to post my next video. It's going to be fucking amazing. And like, like it was really good. Bro, oh, Kevin's yeah. videos yeah. are yeah. funny as fuck. If y'all haven't watched Kevin's shit. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, was, that was when oh, we did the bio. Silent Library one. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> when yeah. we did the little thumbnail. Yeah. You know. Oh, uh, Silent know. Library was so fun. Bro, that shit was so good. We should run the, that shit the back. Thing. I'm the down, people I'm fucked down, with it. The Silent Library. I had so much fun making that video. That shit was hella fun. Yeah. No, the thing the thing that was tripping me out with that Logan was telling me about you is that you already knew so much about YouTube. Yeah. And like Logan was telling me and I was like, damn, this one. Bro, I watch YouTube knows. every day. No, bro. but but all it day. was it was crazy. Like the like analytics and yeah. everything. Cause there's stuff where like we all kinda know, but that's cause like we've been kinda studying it. Yeah. And then to hear you kinda like talk about it. I didn't tell you at the time, but I, I went back and I told Julian and Danny and Frank and I was just like, dude, like Kev knows a lot for somebody that just started YouTube. Like you were you were talking about analytics and all this shit. That CPM and shit. Yeah. RPM and shit. Yeah. Uh, talking about all this shit that when Cash we first flow. started our YouTube, we had analytics. no idea about. Bro. And like, Gross I was, income. I was, I was super impressed. And it was like very roly presidential. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're dogging. You're dogging. You're dogging. You're dogging. You're dogging. You're Hold on. Hold on. Clip nah. that. Bro said it was very roly presidential. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Analytics and it was very roly presidential. <laughs> what? That was funny for Frank. Hold on, give him two seconds. He's delayed. Bro, stuck. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! Boy, Frank. Let's go. That boy, Frank, live as fuck right now. Live hey, yo, yo, yo. That Nike Tech fleece. Yo, shout out Sandy Dude. for putting you on, huh? I'll put you <laughs> on. <laughs> hey, I'll put you on. Shout out Sandy, man. man. Nah, that, that picture that is dope. right, though. That Thank you, bro. Yo, shout it's out Nike. fucking Nike, man. Because Yo, shout of, out Nike. Because of you, it? Sandy bought me a TV and shit. Yo, shout out you, Nike. Nah, yeah. Nike yeah. slid up. Bag boy, <laughs> shout out Nike man. Nike after Nike, I got a crib. I got my boys TV. Goddamn, I got me some bro. new shoes. Hey, I'm thinking about a new car. Like Nike's lit. We bro. just need some hoes at the crib, and then we <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, do not show this to Nike. But Nike, you are insane, bro. You yeah. slid a bag. Fire like, sauce. You are showing love to his bless. Yeah. Like when have you seen Nike just be like, yo? Let me like show some love to some Hispanic yeah. people real quick. Yeah, Nike just be insane. Shout Fire. out, to you, bro. And I know you had said like, who the fuck else? H have you ever seen a Mexican on Nike, right? And like, I wanted to ask you like, how do you feel on being like, if not the first, like one of the fucking only Nike Hispanics like on that? <laughs> like an influence. Like, I know I'm probably. How one does of that feel for you? 
Am I the first? No, I'm not the first. Well, I, I would say you're. I, would, I mean, influencer you're, wise, yeah, right? Yeah, Nike yeah, influencer. Wise. Other than that, yeah, no, Nike is. I, don't know. I, I know they I only work yeah. with athletes. Yeah, no, yeah. you're like, like one mainstream, of, like Carlos Vela. You gotta be yeah. like yeah. dog and kind of athlete. I don't know, bro. I know Zach Undos. He worked with Nikes before me, so shout out to him. Yeah. You know Zach yeah. Undos. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. worked with them before me, so shout out to him. Yeah. Um, but Hispanic wise, I don't see anybody. P. Rod. I don't know. Shout out to Nike for reaching out to me. That was a blessing, bro. A like, blessing. Like, how does that feel? Like, yeah, it's, I, it's like, like, you know, you were like spamming your Instagram, everything. Like, you see me on Nike. Like, we were seeing that shit. It was like, yeah, that shit was it was viral like, news. Bro, like, somebody from my high school sent me an email that they got with yeah. me in the front. Oh, yeah. Bro, I saw that. And it no. was Nike. Like, bro, I even texted you and I was like, bro, that's. Yeah, you did. Shit, Thank but you, bro. You didn't respond. Nah. Viral movie. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I didn't respond. He saw it. He saw yeah, it. Yeah, you on your elbow. That's cab, Danny. That is cab. I Jeez. swear, bro. But hey, it's good. It's no, good. I'm about nah, to call you nah, out on your cab. I'm Hold sure on. your fucking shit was blowing up. Hold hey, on. just know that's a dub for the townhouse. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Bro, You're that day. Hey, why the bro. fuck are you harding it right now? <laughs> I'm harding it. Hey, bro, that, nah, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> bro like, yeah, big ass you know I love you, guys. Yeah, I did, like, I did, I you did. know, like, regardless of all this shit, I love you, bro. Nah, but, like, for me, like, nah, I know I know your fucking phone was probably blowing up and shit. And, like, nah, bro, me, I had, I think, a hundred plus texts that day. Nah, I know, I know. And that's I'm sorry. Not, I'm just calling you out on bullshit. Nah, I love you, Danny. Just nah, know that. Just know that. No, Regardless of everything, bro, no, no, I have no. so much love But for that you. shit motivated me, and I was like, fuck, I got to get to this level. You know, like we were talking about, like, motivation and shit. Yeah, like, bro, it, yes. That shit put me, like, like, fuck, this guy is doing great. Like, he needs this fucking flowers for that shit. Thank That's you, bro. Like, Thank you. You know, That's that shit was fucking amazing, bro. Yeah, nah, I, I don't know. I I think the whole community was proud of you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. especially 100%. your friends, bro. Seeing you on that shit, I thought it was insane, bro. Thank like, you. Like I literally, I live with the motherfucker on the Nike app, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, what? <crazy>. That shit. <laughs> think about that shit. Like I wouldn't have thought that shit like two years ago. It's true. insane, bro. That's true. Nice, bro. Nah, bro. It's a lot of pressure, most definitely. But I was so happy. You you saw the TikTok, bro. That wasn't no bullshit. I was crying in my room. I locked it. I just started bawling like a kid. Yeti bro. vibes. Yeti vibes. I was like, <laughs> bro, I do not cry like that. And out of nowhere, like, I just felt like this thing coming out of my fucking throat. Like, and it just started coming down the waterfalls, all that. Locked my room because I didn't want Kevin and Yedward to come in. I laid down in my bed. I looked up at the ceiling. I started just crying. And then I was like, yo. This will be a lit TikTok, me crying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just joy. wanted to, I was like, imagine a kid right now that watches me thinking that they're not shit, that they're worthless, that they're not worth yeah. nothing, they get bullied or something. Like, I want them to see what's possible. So I'm like, fuck it, let me record me crying. Yeah. I'm fucking crying right now. To get like, inspired. Yeah. Like, I'm bawling. Like, yeah. I could not stop the tears. There was no stopping these bitches. Like, I was trying. Yeah. Like, I was wiping them, and they would just keep coming. I was like, fuck, bro. Like, it feels like crazy in my stomach right now. Like, I recorded myself crying. It was just like raw emotions, bro. Like, to see yourself on an app that you used to buy shoes from Yo. Yeah, every crazy. other day, like, to resell to make like 40 bucks, 80 bucks. Like, I was making, like, chump change off of that shit. Oh, I was on that bitch, too. Bro, you would bitch. go into the raffles. I'm still you on remember, that bitch. You remember I, I used to get, try to get the Travis Scott's, or bro. I used to try to get these. I'm bro, still was on that, on bitch, that app. Think about that shit. I was at, bro, I was working at H-E-B trying to cop shoes. <laughs> yeah, me too, bitch. I was, at, I was at school. Bro, we were together, like, next to each other. Nah, at school, trying to cop crazy. shoes. crazy. And I, then, I like, it's still, still wild. You scroll yeah. a little bit, and it's my face on there, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, I think, with the I Nike think tech we were, I think we were walking to the second <laughs> period, and then we met up. We usually meet up. And I was like, hype as fuck showing yeah, you. Like, I copped, I copped. I hit on the Jordan 6s. Yeah. On the Travis. Nah, bro, and then, like, to see yourself on the app. I saw myself on the app. I saw myself on Snapchat. I saw myself on Facebook. I saw myself on Twitter, emails, like everywhere that had to do with Nike. Just they global shit. Yeah. Global literally. viral, viral shit. Presidential shit. I was so happy, bro. So happy. Bro, and copped it. as an Uber black after that. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like. Luxury. And a TV. No, nah, I was eating. I was eating. And I was like, man, Yeto's sad right now. Let me fucking buy him a TV. Let me buy Kevin a TV. Like, let me make a YouTube video out of it so people see that their friends need to eat too. Hey, low key, bro, I need a TV. 
All right, bro, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> the check is over, bro. I'm buying a house. Hey, hey you, you know what? Time, hey, bro, bought me a TV. I got him Bossa Nova after. Oh, <laughs> nah, he did. Shout yeah. out, shout he out. bought me like a $30 yeah, meal. Yeah. I was like, damn. Oh, 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 it was steak. It was steak. It was steak. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I had to get bro right. Nah, but after that, mm-hmm. bro, not even kidding. After that, I realized I could buy a house. Yeah. Like, I was like, I could buy a house. Like, and that shit. <laughs> Here. That, that's a great investment. Too. So I was like, yeah. fuck it. Bread. Like, Viral. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, it's time. Like, fuck it. I was like, it's time. Are you going to restart it? No, no, you're no. You're killing okay. I was like, fuck it. It's time. I got Nike. I got all these fucking brand deals. Cash App, all that. It's good. It's good. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck it. All these brand deals I've done. I've worked my ass off for two years. Let me buy my parents a house. Like, I've okay. saved up. I've done everything right. Let me buy my house. So now I got a real estate agent. I got a fucking accountant. I got all that shit. And I was just like, fuck it. And, and fucking Yeto lives with him. And Yeti <laughs> lives with me. Like yes. lives with me. I was like, fuck it. Just crazy. This is what I've worked for. This is what I need to do right now. Let me get them a house. So right now I'm trying to get them in a nice neighborhood where there's no drive-bys, <laughs> where there's no people stealing in cars. Like, there's no people stealing fucking wheels. Like, I'm trying <laughs> to get them in a nice neighborhood. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Once I do that. I think that's a big ass fucking check mark. I'm good. Yeah. Big ass dub right there. And then I could just worry about investments, mm-hmm. flipping my money. Yeah. That too, investments are huge. Mm-hmm. If you're making money, you need to make your money work for your fucking money. You're right. never going to work a day in your life if you're making good money and using your money to make more money. Yeah. So once I'm there, once I'm making my money, make more money, <laughs> that more money is going to make more, <laughs> more money. Fire. And then that more, more money is going to make more, more money. That's a fact. And passive never, income. Ever, VIP. ever going to work a day in my life. Passive income. Yeah. And then I'm gonna show Yeti how to do it, and then Yeti's gonna show his kids how to do it, and then his kids gonna show their kid how to do and it. And then guess what? Generational wealth <laughs> <laughs> viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, so, but yeah, bro. <laughs> Nike. Anyways, insane. Thank you, Nike. Like they they paid me a bag. They made sure I was good. So I'm gonna make sure they're good. I'm gonna be wearing Nike for the rest of my life. Yeah, I was gonna say regardless. It's- I feel like it's more than just the fucking bag. Oh my god, you spilled all over me. Really, bro? It's because that shit's Adidas, bro. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bags, I had bags, to show respect bags. tonight. Yeah. Like that. Nah, yeah. <laughs> but I had to do it. It's probably but definitely more no than some from. tape over that shit. Like you were saying, more than just the <laughs> money that they gave you. Like, yeah. We fucking, I mean, me, I don't know about you guys too, but like we grew up wearing Nikes. Yeah, type of course. Shit. Yeah, yeah, for real. Hell yeah. yeah. Like jumpsuits and everything. Those were the everybody wanted the Nike. That's Everyone, a bro. forever yeah. brand. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit will last. Forever. That shit is going nowhere. Yeah. No, I, I know if you guys fucking and when you guys come up like that, you guys are gonna hook them up too. Yeah. Facts. I, 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 I would. I owe this motherfucker a lot. Yeah, for sure. You know, you don't know me shit, but yeah. success, Yeti. Just succeed. Wealth. And then so, I'll be right there with you. Oh, and some head. Oh, I'm gonna succeed for sure. Trust. You yeah, you guys uh, yeah. do it. No, like. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna be a millionaire yeah. at one at one point in my life. Great, you know, and that's where you should be, my boy. That's Facts. great to think about. And I also had another question for all for you two, Let's get majority. It. Like you see his him about him buy his mom a house and dad a house. Like, do you guys? I guess this is all for all of you. Do you guys feel like you have to take care of your loved ones first before you take care of yourself because of the way you guys grew up? I definitely owe a lot to my fucking mom, bro. And my stepdad, I owe everything to them. So just know 2023, beginning of it, I'm going to get a house. Okay. Damn. No, nah, like, yeah. I'm telling you, like, that, I'm dead ass. Hell yeah. What about you, Kev? I believe in you too, bro. I just want to grind for my parents, too. Yeah. For my mom, especially. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'll put Fire first. sauce. That's good. Hey, that's eight months from now, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get on that No, shit. watch. The grind's about to go crazy. No, so you guys say you want to take care of your parents before you guys. Like, why Why is that? Like, why Why don't you guys be selfish and take care of yourselves? Because, what? Boy, I can't know. be selfish <laughs> with my I parents. Mean, but some I people are, you know? Like, some people are like, yeah. you know, I'm going to buy all this nah, shit. Nah, I know? think Mexican, Hispanic culture, not just Mexican, Hispanic culture, yeah. Latinos. Like, bro, I think parents are very important. You to see them. your parents struggle. That shit bro, what? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I look. I, w- I went from apartment to apartment, and then I lived in a mobile home with my parents. And I, bro, I used to be so afraid of being like, damn, like, I live in a mobile home. Like, because I didn't. Embarrassed, huh? Like, yeah, I would be embarrassed. Bro, like, I would be embarrassed to, like, like, both of my exes, I told them, I was like, oh, like, my parents live in a mobile home. Like, I live with them. Yeah. Like, I was embarrassed. They both own houses. Like, their parents own houses. So, it's like, 
kind of embarrassing, you know? Yeah. And yeah, I went from apartment to apartment to a mobile home, and next step is a house, bro. That's yeah. like the big move. That's the Mando piece. The big viral move. Bro, I promise you there was no school projects going on in my crib, bro. <laughs> like, Facts. we would go to another motherfucker's crib. Facts. I was not yeah. being like, y'all can slide to mine. Nah, it, <laughs> it, it, it was embarrassing. Not. Yeah, bro, I was yeah. hella embarrassed in elementary, middle school, and high school. I had never lived in a house until La Casita. That yeah, was my damn. first house. I've never lived in a house. Like a house, house, house. You was no. at La Casita, though. Uh, I was there. I was vibing. <laughs> in the couch, but he was vibing. Yeah. I've had two apartments. I've lived in two apartments. Oh, well, yeah, you live. The townhouse now and shit. Yeah. You uh, live in a townhouse with Kevin Sandy? Yeah, no, nah, it's like a vibe. That's a vibe. Nah, but, but yeah, bro. First house, La Casita. Yeah. That was my first ever room by myself. It's crazy. When you house. when you presidential, you move into like a multi-million dollar house, bro. <laughs> and Sherman Oaks and shit. For free yeah. and shit. For yeah, free shit and crazy. shit. Nah, yeah, it blew my mind, bro. Like, I cried in that room by myself, too. Nah, like, we walked out the gate. McLaren, Bentley, Rolls Royce, <laughs> I Maserati. Remember. I remember. It was, it was a movie. <laughs> House yeah. parties on the way. You saw the pool? Yes. Viral. That's All right, we're going to be taking our first break here. And let me tell you, you're going to want to stick around for this one. This is a two-in-one because not only am I going to tell you and give you an amazing fucking offer for Father's Day. I know it's today, but I know a lot of us are last-minute shoppers and might as well take this gift if you ain't if you ain't get them nothing, give them this. You're getting a discount. It's gonna come really quick. That's what she said, but that's gonna come really quick, right? And it's an amazing gift. Check this out. I'm gonna show you guys the performance package. Look at the box when you open this shit. Sorry, I'm not a professional unboxer. Or if you're listening to this, just imagine what I'm doing. So on the box, it says, your balls will thank you. Now, let me show you what it comes with. This is the Crop Reviver. So this is a spray. It's almost like a toner that you're gonna put on your sack. Fucking smells amazing. Trust me, I've got good reviews on that one. And this is also the crop reserver. So it's a ball deodorant. Everybody puts deodorant on the pits, right? Everybody wants to smell good on the pits, right? What about your sack, homie? Take care of your fucking sack. Let me show you this. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you why. And they didn't, they didn't even tell me to say this, right? Because this is dope, right? This is a lawnmower 4.0. Doesn't clip your sack. Has a fucking light. This one's dead because it's brand new. But I've used it, right? Waterproof. So you could take it in the shower, do your grooming there, normally where you would do it. This is, this is better than a shaver, right? Let me tell you why. Because with a shaver, let's say you get a last minute, last minute call, right? Ooh, she's coming over. If you hit your shit with a shaver fast, there's a... High chance that you're going to clip your nets. This got a light. So you could also see where you're missing some spots. You could also get down and dirty because it ain't going to clip you. It also gives you some boxers for your dad or whoever the fuck, your boyfriend. Send him this if his nuts stink. I actually took the lawnmower 4.0 straight to the face and it worked. Not after I did it on my balls, but I did take it to the face and it does clip it really good. I trusted it on my face. That's a big thing. So if you're really interested in this Father's Day amazing gift for Anybody, I'm talking about anybody, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SWEET at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SWEET. He'll be shaking what his mama gave him. Now let's get back to this podcast. Any Olympic pool. How did Ballet. That, TikTok. <laughs> how did that feel? YouTube on the way. How did that feel for uh, you two, for you guys to move into your like first house just by yourself? Uh, the townhouse? Yeah, the townhouse. The townhouse. The townhouse. Oh, well, I lived in an apartment first with uh, my ex, significant other at the time. Mm -hmm. That was fire. I was I'm broke. Not, that shit felt <laughs> badass. It felt badass. It feels better I now because it feels better now because I know I can afford it. Yeah. Back then, it was more like, fuck, I have to go to work to pay like where I want to live. It wasn't worth it because I, was, I should have just saved my money at my parents. Right. But I, I wanted to move out just because like, I wanted to help the other person I was with, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Shit didn't work out, so moved back in with my parents. But once I moved back then, back in with my parents, I wasn't like home consistently. Yeah, like I was off coming to LA, going to Houston, flights, flights, <laughs> spending wealth, <laughs> first you know, class, first class and shit. You Caterade know? on the seat. So yeah, ever since I moved out, <laughs> I up. I had I have never been at my parents consistently. <laughs> and well, now that like I live over here, then I I don't be there often, you know. <clears throat> and and I don't think we asked you last time. About like what did your parents think when you were always at like his crib and oh, stuff yeah, like that? You too, oh, Kev, you too. 
Oh that, no, they they knew I was going viral. They knew I was going viral. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, oh, you like, Sandy? Yeah, like, yeah. I, you viral movie. I was like, oh, oh, mamas, I'm finna be with Sandy. She was like, oh, go be global. <laughs> 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 that is, that's what she was saying. Shout so, out, mama, man. Shout out, mama, man, for real. Were they actually like really supported? Nah, at nah, the beginning, though. They're at the beginning, when I started doing social media, like when I started doing it, nah. Then they saw the first YouTube check. They Brr. were like. Brr. I was like, that's oh, insane. Damn. Bro's working in the plants with that check. Yeah. Wait, wait. So your first YouTube check was great. Well, I had to work up to it. Well, I had oh, a okay. joint channel. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know that. Yeah. You just showed him the first pretty one. I showed him the first pretty, oh, okay. pretty one. Yeah. Damn. Nah, but it happened kind of fast. It, it didn't take too long, yeah. you know? Yeah, it happened pretty quick. I, I, I think, like, the first pretty one that I thought was, like, really pretty was, like, 3K. As good as fuck. Yeah, that's really for good. a month, yeah. what, for a month that coming I from went, nothing, making yeah. like you said, four fifty. Bro's a week viral age. iPhone. Bro, I was <laughs> I was working like fucking what? I was working. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Bro's viral iPhone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> say shit, bro. Oh, bro, Anyways, I was working forty hour weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, four candy. weeks, bro. Forty hour weeks and making like less than two thousand dollars. Damn. How about you, Kev? So, like, you were Santi's friend before yeah. anything. Like, hometown friend. Bro, like, it was just what, slatty. What did your parents think about it? Oh, like, no. My know? parents... Well, did they already know about Santi? Oh, like, yeah. What he was they, doing? That's what I was about to say. They kind of knew Santi. He wouldn't really go over to my house. I would more always be at his house. But he would come, like... Well, he only came, like, two What times. type of come? <laughs> bro, I've only... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've only been to your house twice. Like, three... Twice, yeah. Three, maybe. But my mom, bro. like, knows him. Like, it's Trey. Trey. My yeah. mom knows him. Like, Come on, bro. Tres. Three. Oh, yeah. Trey. Now, I've met his mom, like, two, three yeah. times. Um, Go ahead, Kevin. Sorry. No, yeah. My mom has met Santi, like, yeah, two, three times. So, like, she knows about him. Like, yeah. So, it's all, like, chilling. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but, yeah, I grew a lot, bro. I don't know. Yeah, nah. My face got fatter. Body got fatter. I've been hitting the gym though, so yeah, I'm gonna turn more. this fat into muscle sooner I, or later. I'm just yeah. wondering when I'm gonna stop glowing up. You know, I feel like every <laughs> 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 no, I'm dead ass. Like I feel like every year, like it, it like you I get prettier. I raise the bar and oh shit, my you know? god, like I raise the bar. <laughs> hey, it had to happen. Had to happen, <laughs> man. It's Yo, Mando like, says. Shout out God for doing it. Hey, bro, look at I, I feel that though. Nah, yeah, like oh, presidential. Like my fades get better for some reason. The barber goes stupider. My head gets better. It gets more presidential. <laughs> <laughs> I need to try that. One. Yeah, it's higher than president. Right. Yeah, <laughs> higher than president. More global than government. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> more global than government. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Higher but than uh, iPhone 13, like this is uh, crazy. Higher, at least higher than Frank's iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty low, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bro, you got a notification. <laughs> chill out, chill out. Oh, so you're there, oh, friend. Nah, hey, you know what? That's not funny, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Jokes aside, Frank's is the boy, man. I love you, Frank. I love you, Frank. 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 You Frank, you know, like, after this shit, like, I'm going to just hug you and cuddle with you. Back. <laughs> so I fucking day. love you, what Frank. What they know about the backpack boy? <laughs> <laughs> what they know about that, Frank? <laughs> One thing for you guys, like, so starting TikTok from literally just scratch, right? Like, do you feel like everybody else in the world that has TikTok has the same opportunity that you guys do? Of course. Yeah, we're normal ass people. Everyone so has like a camera. All, all the Everyone people, has audio. All the people that have that shit <laughs> make excuses like my shit ain't blowing up. Like, do you feel like they still have a chance? Just keep yes. posting. Yes. 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 Yeah, post Frank, it. tell them, Frank. Yes, you do. Thank I, you. Tell them to keep posting. I see your shit be flopping, <laughs> Frank. Yeah, tell them. My shit does tell flop. Keep <laughs> My shit does flop. <laughs> oh, no, my shit be flopping too, bro. Yeah. Bro, everyone's shit around. flops, yeah, yeah. but the people that flopping. stop after the flops, that's when you fucking fail. Yeah, yeah. I, stopped. Them out. I stopped. On, I stopped. No, Don't you stop, bitch. What? No, bitch, I, I see you posting. I, but look, no, this is the thing. I post now, but me taking that stop. No, you know what's crazy? Up. That like, I follow Frank, you be going crazy on TikTok. What the yeah, fuck are you, you saying? Millions. You, yeah, you be going. Say, the Patron in them. <laughs> 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 <Come on, laughs> See that? that that's where I'm stuck. Uh, that's fucked. <laughs> we're stuck on that one, bro. I can't yeah, bro, that. Frank, look. Yo, that's my favorite song, bro. <laughs> that's your favorite song. That's my. Favorite if you song. flop, bro, and then you stop, that's why you fucked up. Like, 
the people that make it, I was they flop and they keep going and they keep going, bro. Yeah, bro, I flop so many times before I finally hit on something. Especially, it sucks when you think it was a banger too. Bro, it took me six to seven months to hit a hundred k, and I was posting seven times a day. That's a lot. Six months. What is that? Thirty times six. Do the math. I slowed. One eighty. One hundred and eighty. <laughs> What did I tell you to do? 30 times 6. So 180 okay. times 180 seven. TikToks flopped before I had something hit. No, that's you did more, yeah, right? Yeah, you did more. You did that you did 180 TikToks in a month for it to times 7. It's like 30 times 7. You're doing too uh, much math. <laughs> You're probably at like 1300. <laughs> yeah, it's like 1300. I did almost yeah. a thousand TikToks before that's something insane. hit, bro. And then yeah. he had to do the fucking dice roll. And then I did the dice roll one time, and that shit hit with a random ass caption. Wait, about are you the one who came up with that? I didn't come up with the dice roll. I came up with the dice roll with a long ass caption in front of it with like a scenario. And, uh, then, okay. and then all the homies like trying but to. But you like, like perfected that shit, no? I guess I did. Nah, I don't know. Cause like, I feel like you hit like the smoothest dice roll out of anybody. Oh. I did for a little bit, but then I gave up on it. And I, like, you get bored of stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, no, yeah. That's why I be clowning you on it sometimes. I did the <laughs> dice roll probably for like a month straight. And then I just, I was like, I don't want to do that shit. How anymore. long did you do the awkward thing for? Two, three months. Oh, okay. And that shit banged me up. Dude. It was lit. People yeah. thought I was just awkward. So when people met me in real life, they were like, I thought you were awkward. Nope. I'm a normal guy. Nah, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's really crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, just, bro, failure until trial. Just Yo, keep Frank, going. I was going to tell you, bro, I think I followed you like four months ago on TikTok, bro. I, yeah. You're not going to follow back or something? Damn. Damn. I like I'm, I'm in the room with you right here, you bro. And there's no follow me. back, bro. Yes, this is, is this is Roly presidential, and you're, you're not following back. There's really literally viral, viral movie sitting in front viral right now. Wait, Wait it's the global. account where you have the the zoom in shit. This is Oscar Grammy, yeah, yeah Grammy yeah, Award no. winning, Grammy nominated, maybe not winning, but nominated. Nomin All right, hold on, I'm gonna have to take one more break because I'm gonna tell you something about ShipStation. Now, if you've been a supporter of this podcast, which I know a lot of you've been, you know about ShipStation because we talk about this shit all the time. Time. This is for the people that are trying to start a business, right? And when you're trying to start a business, you often start it because you love doing what you're doing. You know, if you want to make content, you love creating content, but there's always a flip side of things. Business is not always easy. If you love making content, you also have to edit. Now, if you don't like editing, you're going to have to fucking edit. There's, there's no point. Someone's going to have to edit for you, or you're going to have to suck it up and edit. If you love creating clothes, you love creating like designs, who's going to ship that shit out? And let me tell you that shit's a bitch because when we first started doing our merchandise right we love you know the excitement that comes with creating the design you know going to feel the clothing like that's all exciting but when it comes to shipping it out to the customer shipping it out to the people that are trying to support your brand that could be a bitch because one you're dealing with shipping rates you're gonna have to compare this person with that person is it worth going with this company or that company there's just so much stuff but ship station ship station will take if you're trying to sell your clothing or a service on etsy or you're trying to sell something on amazon and you're also selling it here on ebay it takes all of that and it puts it into one and deals with that for you so you could deal with the shit that you actually want to deal with nobody wants to deal with the shipping the hassle so let me tell you what ship station is going to do for you guys it's time to let go of all those shipping tasks <clears throat> ship station can do it better and faster sign up using promo suite for a free 60-day trial at shipstation.com and start saving with every shipment sorry and that's two months of shipping made quick and painless and free to try go to shipstation.com click on the microphone at the top and type in sweet Hide. Are we really about Audemars to get a Pike. follow no, on no, live? No, no, no. That's, that's fucked, bro. Let me, let me pee. That's fucked. Bro, how does it feel holding the iPhone 5C, Kevin? <laughs> 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 that caveman ass <laughs> phone. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, got the baby blue one. Follow back. That's nah. crazy. No. Oh, I'm on that ass, though. Nah, oh, that's my bad. crazy. What did he post? Oh, nothing. He's I'll trying to get in your ass, bro. <laughs> Yo, appreciate it, bro. I just been having hella baddies follow me back and shit. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow back. Though. I wanted you to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course.
I have to follow you. Please, back. bro. Yeah, please. bro, you don't got They don't sell Look, cases. bro's checking Instagram right now. See if he follows me on there. <laughs> <laughs> I am, bro. <laughs> he a oh, ho. He's oh, crazy. Oh, and, and you call me your homie? That's fucked up, bro. Yeah, not as crazy how you're sitting right in right front of him, bro. Right next to you, bro. do not follow him on TikTok. I do follow him. No, now you do, bitch. Before you, <laughs> you did didn't him. follow me on TikTok for a fucking minute. What are you Damn. talking about? That, oh, that was six yeah. months ago. Exactly. That's six fucking fake. Ago. As soon as we I knew you for almost fucking two, two years. years. Oh. Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. You've been caught. Hold on. Been caught. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's not Rolly President. Hold on. Been caught like a meep. Nah, dude, that's not cool. For real. Wait, bro, like, to be honest, bro, like, I just had to follow you back as soon as I met you. Like, I didn't know what type of person you, you were. You only met him six months I like ago. to follow back people once I meet them personally because, you, bro, there's people that put on a face for social media, and then I meet them. Where to go your ramen, asshole? Hold on, bro. <laughs> Hold on. But that was, I followed you then. I already followed you. I know. Hold on. But before I Yeti followed. Yeti didn't go. Yeti, turn that shit off. Before I follow someone, bro, I like to meet them because when you unfollow someone, that's awkward. Is that not awkward? What? Imagine you have to unfollow someone. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awkward. Oh, so oh, yeah. I recently got unfollowed by an influencer. Okay, exactly. That's awkward as fuck. He feels awkward. And like I know I'm going to I'm going to end up seeing them one time. So I make sure I'm that I follow you with intent because I don't want to follow you just to follow you. Oh, this video was cool. Let me follow you. Fuck no. I want to make sure you're a cool person. You're good people. Vibes. I'll follow you then. Yeah. You've known him for a while, though. No, no, no. Hold That's on. That's a long time. Hold on. Dog. I followed you as soon as I met you. Did I not? Nah. The first day I met you. Not uh-uh. on TikTok. <laughs> Think about it. Bro's tripping about a TikTok on follow. Though? Once we became cool, oh, TikTok, did I not follow you? On TikTok? I don't know. I just followed you as soon as I knew you were cool. Nah, he didn't, though. Man. When How do you know, Cause. you fucking gatekeeper? Step one. <laughs> Fair one. Cause My he's bitch classic. He's I met you ratchet. first. Yeah. And I followed you right then and there. Nah, me. Uh, on Instagram. What about me, bitch? Oh, oh, I met you first. Man. I don't remember, bro, to be honest. Wait, I just know I like following I, people once I know they're cool. Logie, when was the first time we met? Mm, that I forgot. La Casita? Yeah, yeah probably. La Casita. But I followed you. Oh yeah. He he only knew me when I was at La Casita and then I brought him. I knew you before La Casita. Yeah. No, I know. La at Casita. But like you didn't know him before La Casita. La Casita. You didn't know him. La Casita. Nah, I knew of Yero, but I just But you didn't like, know him. Yeah. Oh know. no, I I met you at La Casita. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And we yeah, talked right. a lot. As far as you guys moved into the house and shit, do you guys feel like you guys will ever part ways or you guys want to <clears> move <throat> into your own shit? What do you guys want to do within what are you guys a year lease there? Yeah. So what do you guys want to do after? You guys want to keep going with geo shit or what is? It? I feel like another year wouldn't be too bad to be honest. Mm. I feel like I feel like by the end of this lease, we're gonna be viral global. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, Sanya like a mil, Yeti like five hundred, Kev catching up and shit, you know. At like what four, four hundred, three fifty, can make some really good money with those numbers. Insane amount of money, right? Exactly. Uh, second year will be live, but I think a second year, we we'll have gotten so used to living with each other that we're just gonna want to do another year after, you know? Okay, that's it. Yellow. I agree. Yellow. Yeah, cause Yellow. you're twenty one, twenty two. I turned twenty three this year. Twenty okay. eight. Mm. Twenty three. Kev, you're nineteen. I'm 20, bro. You're 20. You're 20. 20. I'm I'm the dad of the crib. But no, actually, I enjoy living with these two motherfuckers. Like, if I don't live with them, I'm just going to move back to Austin and do my own shit, right? And visit them, of course, every so often and make content with them every so often. But right now, and even when our lease ends, that's not not what I'm going to want to want. I hope that's not what they want. But if that, that is what they want, then... Can't really do much, you know. Yeah. Another year sounds fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sick as fuck. So, do you guys want to stay there or move to like a house? What do you guys? Do? I think we're good there, yeah, but we are insanely good there. But if there's like a crib that we just want to slide to, we'll probably just good slide price us through. On. You guys got a good price on. Um, yeah, we did get a pretty yeah. good price on that townhouse. Yeah, the only way we would move into a crib is if we either got more people involved or 
But it's because, like, I don't even know if I, I want to live with more people. I, I was going to say, I don't think you guys need more <coughs> people. You guys don't need more people. Nah, bro, we got such a good thing going, like, us three. And then, you know, of course, we got Jose, too, and Jaco, and right Ray. There. Like, we, like, they don't live far from us, so we can always make content with them. But, like, us three, we make really good content with each other, so I fuck with it. Yeah. If there was a house that I was agree. the same price, maybe bigger, in a better area, yeah, but. Oh, you know what? If there. these motherfuckers were dirty, I would not want to live with them. Cause like I'm clean and they're clean as fuck too, bro. Yeah. So it's like they were we're all pretty clean. That's like like we we set a rule like no dishes, like everybody washes <coughs> dish type shit. Like everybody cleans. Everybody's good on. And their then shit. obviously there's little like fucking things that like pile up like on the like kitchen and Account. shit. Just so like if you see it, clean it. We'll get a we'll get a cleaning lady once once a month, a month. and she'll clean just like so the she can get all specs. the dust. That's all really dust. it. It's just the dust. Because we'll clean our own dishes, our own clothes, all mm-hmm. that stuff. And then the cleaning lady will just get the small stuff. Just and we make sure to pay her good. Like, she's happy. We're yeah. all happy. Yeah. The crib is clean. Where'd you guys find her, actually? I met her at a, in an elevator. She had, like, a cart with her. And I asked her, I was like, Oye, este, usted limpia casas o como la hace para su trabajo? She was like, yeah, like, I'm by appointment. Thing like that in Spanish. Oh, fucking dope. And y le dije, este, me estoy mudando. Do you limpia classes así nomás por dinero o cómo le hace? She was like, yeah, like wherever you call me, like just I'm I'll there. be there. Sick. Damn, sick. And so I met her, got her number, called her. I was like, hey, I, I need cleaning for like one time the whole house. And she was just pull up once a month, clean it, up here like good and chilling. I feel like that's very fucking like uh, important. Yeah. I like that when you if you get somebody to clean your house like. Yeah. Every now and then, like yeah, they're your very, shit clean. they're very oh, yeah. frugal. Like they'll clean every little yeah, corner. Yeah, but they come and they clean. Yeah, she every she time. doesn't she doesn't have to do too much, you know. Yeah, yeah like, they shouldn't have. But to. like, yeah, because like we don't keep our rooms like fucking disgusting, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like we pick up after ourselves and like, she'll clean like the little dust that falls yeah, into like yeah. air vents and shit. Or like she'll like, she'll just like leave our something. fucking restrooms like sparkling, you know. Yeah, like our right. restrooms are clean, but she'll leave it like top tier type. Yeah, shit. she's lit. She's lit. She's dope. Yeah, but I'm really happy that these motherfuckers are clean, like yeah. actually really clean. Yeah, so, yeah. so we're vibes out. and that TT. Fucking. Was Facts. there one thing that annoys you guys? Um, out of the three. At the moment, nothing. Was okay. there something? What about FIFA? <coughs> nah, I'm just nah, the goat at it. So there's really not much. No one debate. has taken the throne from this guy. No. Nah, I've been close. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> I've been close. Are I've you chasing this story? You guys still play a lot or nah? Not? Not against each other. We play with each other. We so. know who the best one is. Why? So it's like why play against why each other? Why don't you guys play? That's why. Yeah. Really? I'm good. Well, I mean, we're scared to play something because he's just gonna fuck us up. Like I'll be like, yo, <laughs> who's trying to play? <laughs> yeah. All the bullshit. He's not even that good. I cooked you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> bro, lost you. like seven zero. No, I, I did half. not lose that much. You left. Bro, you should have stayed and played against. The, oh, you went to sleep. Yeah, because I dogged you seven no, zero. <laughs> nah, that was, it was like four. Yo. Okay. He's better than me at two K. <laughs> hey, nah. Yeah. To leave it off though, the Slatty House, the trio is not going anywhere right now. That's yeah. good. Yeah. They're That's here good. to stay. Make sure to check out all their stuff. You already know who they are, but check out their stuff in the description. Go support them. Show them all the love. It's always lit with you guys. And we yes. thank them. Nah, bro. I appreciate you guys having us. I love coming on the podcast. I, I love, love being here. I love being around you guys and partying yeah. thank with you, you guys. Thank hey, you. is before we leave, is there anything upcoming for you guys individually or as a group? Uh, what do you guys got going on? I'll see y'all in Phoenix. Uh, hopefully, I get to host in Chicago. If there's any clubs in Chicago that want to hit me up to host out there, hit me in my DMs because I talked to one and they were not talking money. They were Yo, Chicago, money, yeah. Seattle, Phoenix, not Arizona, fresh. fucking um, McAllen. New York. Oh, McAllen, Texas. If you want to fuck with us, fuck with us. Please DM whoever you want. Fuck yeah. with us, man. Yeah, for real. I'm trying any, to go down to McAllen yes, soon. Yeah. Anybody in this room can pull a crowd. Exactly. I'm you. So Facts. If you're a promoter listening to this, hit up the boys. Hit up anybody in here. Facts. We got you. San Antonio. That would that would be a vibe. You have there to do is. that one. Yo, I really want to go to San Antonio. Bro. Hey, I know why you want to go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh we know why you want to go, my boy. No, but um, stay tuned to my channel because I'm gonna go crazy. Exactly, yeah, YouTube, yeah, yeah. YouTube, 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 YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. 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 Yeah. Yeah. God, if y'all want to actually fuck with us, fuck with our YouTubes. All of our YouTube links will be down below. <laughs> yep. 
My shit, my heart, my soul is into my YouTube. If you actually want to fuck with me, my shit is on YouTube. Yo, last All but not least, YouTubes. if you guys are not fucking subscribed to the Sweet Tea Podcast, no make sure plan. to fucking subscribe. Yes. Facts, yes. facts, facts. Yes. The facts. Shit. They bring the best, yes, the baddest, and the holiest into this Woo! podcast. Facts. Facts. So make Thank sure you, you subscribe. Thank you for listening, right. watching. We love you guys. Yes. Have Thank a good you guys. One. Good night. Bye, guys. Peace.